equipment for feed meal production. We have the MISA. In MISA, the work of the MISA is to turn the feed materials to bring them to a uniform format. We have different types of MISA which you are seeing in this video, the vertical and the horizontal MISA. They will be indicated on this video. So as you are watching, you will be seeing them one after the other. We have the grinder. The grinder crushes the raw materials into smaller particles to match the size and the age of the bed that will consume them. We have the grinder or the crusher, depending on what you are using them for. We have the hammer mill. Hammer mill is also used in breaking down the feed particles also. Most especially the hard ones like the rocks, stones, the oyster shells and the rest of them. The blood meal and the rest of them. We have the industrial weighing for scaling your feed materials. Because once you formulate your feed, they must be scaled for you to get the appropriate ration for your feed formulation. We have the pelletizer. It's also in this, in this video to be indicated. The work of the pelletizer is to make the feed to be in pellet form to enable the chicken or the livestock to swallow them easily. We have the sealers, the bag sewers, we have the sifas, we have the packaging bags. We have the, another equipment you need is the mobility. That's something that will help you to move the raw materials and the feed produced from one location to another location or even within your factory. How to start feed meat business? There are many raw materials everywhere you can use for your feed milling. Examples are the soya beans, wheat and bone meal, crushed noodles, granuts, pumpkin, cake, spent grains, which is one of the major ingredients in production of poultry feed. Use local materials for the production so you can sell cheap. If you can also use substitute materials, it will as well help you to reduce the cost of your production and at the same time maximize your profit. Or if you can produce for your own livestock, you will save money or reduce the cost about 30 to 40 percent with drop. One, you must be trained. You get trained either online or fiscal training. It is the business you want to sustain. Then it is advisable to go for training. This is where you will be able to recognize the best formulation to make because you must not have any mistake. This is a competitive business for you to have sustainable customers. You have to produce quality feeds. Animal feed production will require you to master the right quantity of mix to produce quality feed. For poultry, this is a trend on how to produce feed for finishers broilers, starters, growers, layers, and breeders feed. Second step is to choose a good location for the business. Choose a very good location for your feed me business. It is very, very good. It's one of the points you have to consider. You know that in feed meal business, trucks need to bring feed raw materials into your farm so the area or the place of your location must be a very good accessible place a visible a describable oh and spacious area where lorries can come and drop the feed for you and it must be a busy route where you position your business can make or mark it Make sure it is an environment that is very conducive. You know that what means for citing a business in a very good location, you must have at least many big farms around you that you get around you. The building should include an office for transactions, store for keeping all the buildings in your own and the living section where equipment are set up. There must be a park where your customers will park their cars or vehicles when they want to make purchases. And there must be security house because you cannot invest 
in an area or such capacity of investment without securing your money. These are all materials for production. Set business plan on feeding yeah, well business. You nice got work. a very good plan. These are raw materials for your business. Mm -hmm. The reason for this cannot be overemphasized. After drawing, you follow it up to the letter. Why making adjustments where necessary? The drawing of your business plan must be by an expert, a professional, one who is into the business already for years, and one who has acquired a lot of knowledge on that particular business, so that the failure rate will be ruled out. The price for the raw materials is fluctuating, as such adjustments can as well cannot be ruled out. The fourth decision is how to purchase your equipment. You can start feed mill business in a small scale by setting up a mini feed mill by mixing and pelletizers that can produce about 500 kg or half a ton a day. Equipment has to be in place before purchasing the raw materials. Number five, book for regular suppliers. Now, assuming you want to go into a layer bed feed formulation. Let me give you just a breakdown. For one ton of laying bed feed, that is layer extraction, you can have maize 500 kg, which is about 50% of the entire raw materials. Soya bean meal 200 kg, which is a source of protein. We have full fat soya 20%, that is 20 kg that is 0 0.2 percent which of all 144 kg limestone 100 kg bone meal 25 kg layers premise 2.5 kg that is appropriate measure for a full ton methionine 2 kg lysine 2 kg salt 3.5 kg Dozen binder, one kg. This formula is for 40 bags of layers feed of 25 kg. That is one ton. That is 1,000 kg. You can buy concentrates from major millers and package them. We have plenty of such companies in major cities such as Lagos, Ibadan, Abuja and the rest of them. Important thing to note before starting a feed mill, you must have a very good spacious land, as I earlier mentioned. A land that is situated in a very popular city and good location with good accessible roads, as I earlier said. One of the things you have to put in place to run a successful feed mill business is to know the exact nutrients and the proportion needed for different beds. If you are following up in this training, you can, or by now, you must have known how to formulate feed from our past contents on feed formulation using available local feed stock. Then, if you have not, if this is the first time, go through our contents and check all our past videos. You see where we have trained or given a, a detailed training on how to formulate feed with available local feed stuff. Then produce the feed for the bears using these findings. If the feed mixture is wrong, it will affect the bears by causing growth retardation, drop in egg laying, and eventually death. And you will lose all your investment because all the customers will run away from you. The next one is marketing of animal feed production. Go around livestock or poultry farming in your location and introduce your business to them. Introduce your brand to them. You can carry samples along for them to test it on their livestock. Reduce the price of your feed meal to gain customers or to gain buyers before raising it to what is best for you. Advertise your feed meal business using social media such as Facebook, GG and newspaper companies and televisions, if possible radio stations also. You can as well be a feed meal distributor 
in case you don't want to be producing livestock feed, maybe you don't have the money, you can be a distributor to any of the upcoming feed meal producing companies. Most of them have good quality products that can compete with leading brands. You can start with 300 bags or 600 bags, which is one truckload. 